Okay, so welcome back. Um, let's just keep going with this example. We've, we've defined all the different uh, change in pressures with two question marks. So let's, let's put this in our equation up here. Let's see what happens. So the change in pressure. Delta P1. Delta P1. Well, that's question mark. So we'll just say delta P1 plus delta P2. Well, delta P2 is, is gamma F times Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3 plus H uh, plus uh, pressure change of path 3, which we define to be negative uh, negative gamma m times h plus 4 here. Uh, 4 here would be negative uh, gamma f uh, y sub uh, 3. And then we'll just continue this equation down here. Oops. Let's change this paper right here. So that, that's the change in pressure of path 4. Now, change in pressure of path 5, well, that was uh, negative gamma F Y sub 2, and then um, change in pressure of path 6. And, and we said that was a question mark too. So let's let's actually def let's let's see what's going on at path six. And remember, path six was was this this path right here. So we said um, our total energy had along a streamline v squared over two g plus pressure over gamma plus h is equal to a constant, right? Because the, the total energy head here and here should be the same. Now we know the velocity here, the velocity at this point and the velocity at this point, they're the same. So this is going to be equal to a constant, right? So this entire term is a constant. H, is there a change in elevation from this point to this point? Well, no, no, there isn't. So that's also a constant. And if this is a constant, if the equation equals a constant, and if this term's a constant, that means the pressure is also going to be a constant. Okay, so there's going to be constant pressure along this path. So we can actually just say uh, uh, that change in pressure along path 6 is just 0. So this is... This is zero. Don't worry about it. There is no change in pressure, right? If this pressure was like, I don't know, 5 psi and this was 5 psi, they're both constant, they're both the same, 5 minus 5 is zero. Plus the change in pressure of path 7, which is negative gamma F y sub 1. And um, here, here's um, where we start canceling things out. So let's cancel a few terms. We know, well, look at this, negative gamma F, that, that cancels out with this one, right? So this is gone. And then we have gamma sub F of Y sub 3, that's gone. We have a negative gamma sub F of Y2, that's gone. Um, I believe that's it. So that's gone, that's gone. Uh, this is gone, so we're left with the change in pressure is equal to the change in pressure of 1 plus uh, gamma F H, right, gamma F H minus gamma M H. Oh, well, I think that's it, isn't it? So here, and remember, this is equal to zero, right? The total change in pressure of the entire path is equal to zero. So we can rewrite this as a change in pressure of one uh, plus h times gamma f minus gamma m 
is equal to zero, right? I just distributed that h out. Uh, we can bring this over to the other side. You see, change in pressure is equal to uh, uh, h times gamma mercury minus gamma f. All right, we just brought that over and did some algebra work there. Now, to find out the change in pressure of path one, remember path one is this path right here. Here, we said the change in pressure was zero. Well, can we say that the same about here? Well, no, we can't because there's a velocity here and there's no velocity here because that's a stagnation point. That's zero. So there is a change in pressure there, but there isn't here because the velocity here and here are the same. The pressure here and here is the same. And the height is obviously the same. Here, the only thing that's different between path one and path six is that there's a velocity change, okay? So we can, we can use Bernoulli's equation. Remember, the total energy head along a streamline is the same, so energy head here would be equal to energy head here. And remember, our energy head equation was uh, V squared over 2G plus pressure of zero, right? We're doing this for uh, point zero. Uh, so we can even say that over gamma plus h is equal to v, we'll call that point s, that stagnation point here, right? That's, that's stagnation point squared over 2 times gravity plus the pressure at the stagnation point uh, over gamma plus h. Okay, well, can we say, can we say this is equal to zero? Why? Because the velocity at the stagnation point is zero, right? And the heights, they're obviously the same. There's no, there's no uh, change in height. So uh, what we're left with is uh, V naught squared or V zero squared over 2G plus the pressure at zero over gamma is equal to the pressure stagnation point gamma plus H. Oops, no, no, no plus H. If we bring this term over here, we can say V naught squared over 2G is equal to P of S minus P naught over gamma. Gamma of the, remember, the fluid, the air. Right, I just subtracted this term from this side and brought it over here. And this is what we get. Um, so we have this. And that's, this right here is actually the change in pressure along path one, right? Stagnation minus point zero. Or final minus initial. And that's equal to rho g uh, times v squared over two g. And, and this right here, remember, it's our, it's our gamma. Gamma is equal to rho g. And, and and all of this is equal to rho of the fluid v squared over two. And remember, our what we d we define this as gamma f over two uh, g. So we can we can plug that in here and say uh, gamma f times v squared over 2g is equal to gamma m minus gamma f uh, h, right? The change in, change in the two gammas times h is equal to our change in pressure because our change in pressure is equal to gamma times the change in height, okay? And that's that right there. Uh, let's solve for v squared here. We get 2g gamma mercury minus gamma f times height over gamma f and we square root both sides we get v is equal to 2g times gamma mercury over gamma f minus 1 times h and all of that square rooted okay so that right there 
is the velocity at it's the velocity of this air. It's the velocity of point uh, zero.